The National Democratic Congress's decision to replace the minority leadership in Parliament has been met with mixed reactions. With the Asawasi Member of Parliament, Muntaka Mohammed Mubarak, being one of the casualties, many of his constituents have expressed their disappointment over the decision. The aggrieved party members gathered at the Asawasi Member of Parliament's office where they organized a press conference and called on the party to reconsider the decision with immediate effect. Speaking at the news conference addressed by the Aswasi Constituency Secretary, Mugis Madi stressed that if the party does not withdraw its decision, it will affect its fortunes in the 2024 elections. We woke up yesterday to the news of a racial fall in Parliament to the effect that our Member of Parliament in the person of Honorable Muntaka Mohamed Mubarak, who doubles as the Minority Chief Whip, and the member of parliament for Tamale South, Honorable Haruna Idrisu, who also doubles as the minority chief of Ghana's 8th parliament, has been reshuffled. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, we are yet to come to terms with the news as to whether or not such decision is taken by the Functional Executive Committee of which both Haruna Idrisu and Honorable Muntaka Mubarak are members. Some other disgruntled NDC members have also been expressing their displeasure with the decision. I personally believe that they just did it to test the waters. And if that is their intention, then we are telling them we are ready for them. We are not going to uh, um, bring out our weapons now, but we are telling them emphatically that they should resign their decision. With regards to this change that um, came yesterday afternoon, in fact, we are not happy at all. We are not happy and then we are trying to register our dissatisfaction to the authorities of the NDC. Nobody expected this. When things are going to be done, it should pass the due process. Like the, our, our secretary said, first of all, Honorable Mutaka was not consulted. Honorable Harun was also not consulted. And then the ranking members of the NDC were also not consulted. At least things should be done in a way. The angry party members, after addressing the press, moved to the Ashanti Regional NDC office to petition the leaders over the issue. They sang war songs and bent car ties amidst heavy security to express their anger. The Ashanti Regional NDC Chairman, Augustus Nana Apesi Andrews, assured the group that he will ensure the petition is forwarded to the party's leadership for the appropriate action to be taken. He, however, admonished them not to resort to violence in expressing their disappointment over the issue.